There's two pieces of software that make life with the Axe FX3 even easier. They are Axe Edit and Fractal Bot, and you can download them from the Fractal Audio website, fractalaudio.com. From the homepage, go to support, and we can go down to editors to grab Axe Edit 3 for our Axe FX3. This is going to give us the most up to date Axe Edit version. Uh, essentially, you can just scroll down, download your version, and then I've already got it installed, so I can open it up here. At the moment, I have a preset that I made using the Mark series amps on my Axe FX3. And Axe Edit is going to give us a graphical display of every parameter and block, as well as several functions that relate to controllers and the FC pedals on the Axe FX3. So you can see with Axe Edit, when I open it up as default, it will give me a list of the scenes available in a preset. I can go here to select between any preset I like in my Axe FX3. I can also look at parameters, for example, in the amp block or the cab block. Ever one I like, I can see all my ins and outs in front of me. It's a lot easier than using the front panel for quick editing. And if you wanted to add a block anywhere in the grid, you just use the right click on your mouse and it will bring up a menu where I can choose between inputs and outputs and any effect block that I like. I don't have to do any scrolling on the front panel. And this is where I live 95% of the time when I'm editing presets up here. If you've got a fractal FC controller connected, you can do all your FC editing. You can control the controllers in your Axe FX3, whether they're scene controllers, modifiers, the LFOs, the tempo, the metronome, the input source for the pitch block, just about anything you can imagine. The only thing that you can't do with Axe Edit is change the global parameters in the setup menu. And that's for the best because a lot of the time, you know, you just start turning knobs in here and accidentally change something. So that is Axe Edit. Furthermore, there is Fractal Bot. If we go to support and downloads, we can have a look at Fractal Bot. This is on the website. So go to fractalaudio.com slash fractal bot and you can grab the downloader there. What Fractal Bot is going to let us do is back up our Axe FX3 if we set it to receive. You see here I choose my device as Axe FX3. Uh, I can back up my presets to my computer and I can also update the firmware. If we want to get the latest firmware for our Axe FX3, we would go to downloads and go to Axe FX3. At the time of this, the most up-to-date firmware is the Ares version 5.08. With each firmware, there's often amp modeling improvements, new effects blocks, and new functionality added. So it pays to be up-to-date if you want to get the most functionality out of your Axe effects. But at the same time, if you're somebody who's gigging regularly and you don't want to change the sound of your presets or your layout, there's no need to update the firmware. It's totally up to you. You can also get the owner's manual and the factory preset banks, as well as your Windows USB drivers from here. If I wanted to download the latest firmware, it's pretty straightforward. All I'd have to do is click here. And then if I wanted to load it in, it's really, really straightforward. You'll notice that this is going to import as a zip file. So I'll wait for that one to download. I can double click it and it will open the file. Every firmware comes with release notes. So if I have a look at this guy when it opens up, I'll be able to I actually know what I want to do is move across here to my finder and you'll see I've got a file as well as a readme guide for doing all this kind of setup as well as release notes which talk about what has and hasn't changed with the firmware. If I want to update my firmware, all I have to do is go across to Fractal Bot. I would then browse and select the firmware file. For example, this one right here. I could hit open. This isn't the firmware that I just downloaded. It's whatever the last firmware I added was. And then I would hit begin and it will update my Axe FX3. So Fractal Bot and Axe Edit 3, in my opinion, are absolutely essential if you want to make your workflow with the Axe FX3 really easy. Uh, that's where you get them. And we'll have a look at how to use them in a bit more depth over the course of all these videos. Another very handy feature is the Axchange at axchange.fractalaudio.com. This is where AxeFX users can share their presets and cabs. For example, if I wanted to download a preset like this one right here, which is a Marshall preset that I shared, I would just have to click on it, hit download now, and it's going to save it to my computer. Then I could go to AxeEdit3 and I could use the Import Preset tab, which is going to be here under Preset, Import Preset, and then I can go to the relevant file in my downloads. I can click on it and it will load it into my Axe FX3, which is pretty awesome. I can also import cabinets as well. If I go to tools 
axe manage cabs. There's several ways to do this, but what I like to do is use the browser feature down here. You can also drag and drop cabs, but say we go to browser, I'll go to open directory and I will choose a folder. So if I select that LTTV pack, it is gonna come up with a list of all the compatible cabs in that particular directory folder. And I can simply grab one and drag it onto an empty cab slot. And then I can hit save. And now I'm gonna have a brand new user cab in that position that I can load and use with my AxeFX 3. So for importing presets and cabinets, it's really, really simple with Axe Edit. I can also export presets as well. And you'll see that once you've saved a new cabinet, Axe Edit will read it for the names and the slots, and then you're good to go.